Hi, um, today I'm going to do a very short video review uh, regarding this power cost monitor. Uh, I think power cost monitor is the right term to use for these, device, these devices, but in US or other parts of the country, they will call it as a Q or kilowatt. Basically, this is a device that uh, used to measure uh, the power consumption of the, your household uh, appliances or any appliances that you want to use. Because, um, for example, I have a, a small netbook here, but um, I just want to find out actually what is the actual power consumption of a netbook. Okay, uh, what you can do is actually you just plug in this uh, device inside here. All right, the netbook uh, socket, power socket, and then this one you will plug it in the power socket. Uh, then you can measure how much. Uh, power consumption of the device, all right? Uh, but this is nothing new. Um, but what I'm trying to say that in uh, this power cost monitor right now is quite useful, especially in the solar uh, application. Uh, for example, uh, our first example I want to show you is actually, let's say uh, you have an inverter, okay? Uh, you want to figure out what is the AC load uh, of a device, uh, you can use this uh, to measure what is the actual uh, AC load uh, of the device of, for example, this notebook. Let's say you're in the uh, remote area, uh, you're using solar or wind power as your power source. Uh, because of that, you probably will want to be uh, uh, energy, uh, your energy consumption is main, your main concern. You want your appliances to be uh, efficient, all right. So most of the time, you probably will, uh, you know, measure what is the actual load of uh, each devices. Okay. Here, I'm just going to show you how to me measure the uh, AC device, all right. For DC devices, it's easier because the DC devices uh, you can use uh, the controller, for example, high-end controller like the Beta or the Sigma. They come with a data logging system. Uh, the data logger will able to data log. Uh, what is the actual power consumption of your you know, DC device. But for AC device, uh, you definitely need a, a power cost monitor or Q a kilowatt, all right? So what I'm gonna do is actually, uh, I'm gonna plug um, this guy, all right? Uh, inside an uh, inverter, all right? And I'm gonna turn on the inverter and see what is the power uh, you know, consumption of this uh, uh, netbook, all right. So, okay, I will just turn on the device on the AC device. Okay, now you can see uh, the thing is starting on. Just give it a few minutes, all right. So, the watt right now is zero, okay, nothing. Okay, uh, this is because it's uh, no load has plugged in yet. Okay, uh, let's say if I plug in the notebook uh, load, all right, hope you can see this, all right, and okay. It's nothing happened yet, so I will start just to turn on the notebook. Okay, can you can see that? All right. Once I turn on the notebook, okay. Now you see the notebook is starting on. Okay, just give it a few minutes. Okay, now you can see the watt hour. Can you see that? Okay, it start going up. So now it's 11 watt, 10 watt. Right? The notebook is starting up. Okay. Uh, just give it a few minutes because this is a very old. Uh, netbook running on Intel Atom um, and it's pretty much very slow. Okay, now it's roughly about 13 watt. Uh, by the way, the, the netbook here is actually without a battery. Alright, I'll take out the battery already. So no battery, so purely powered by you know the inverter using the power from the battery. Okay, right now you can see the monitor everything is on. Alright, okay for example all right, uh, the watt consumption is roughly about, uh, yeah, I keep jumping around. So it's uh, roughly about 11 watt to 12 watt, all right. Okay, and you also can see beside the watt, okay, you also can see the uh, CO2, but basically just want to see how much, uh, you know, CO2 that, you know, uh, it's more like an uh, environment concern kind of data you can measure with this guy. The total charge, uh, you can put in uh, how much is the rate for uh, one kilowatt, right, you know, things like that. So you can calculate these devices, uh, how much money it's going to cost you when you run it. 
okay, things like that. And uh, how many kilowatt the thing is running, total kilowatt, how many, how long you may run, okay. Right now is uh, 50 hertz, all right, make sure the hertz. Okay, 243, this is VAC, 243 volt, all right, AC volt, okay. And what is this, the current, 0 0.080. This is the current. Uh, it's an AC current, 0 0.08. Uh, all right, because this is go through the inverter. All right, and the power factor. All right, this is a power factor of 0 0.8. Okay, and um, now, wow, it's going up. I think now the CPU, everything is on and things like that. But luckily, this netbook without a fan, so they have no ventilation fan. So just a normal small netbook like this, uh, it consumes about 16 watt, 16.5, 16.2, alright, roughly about 16 watt, alright. So those of you who do solar, okay, or using solar power, and uh, when especially when you come to the case, uh, AC is the only uh, thing that your, your instrument only can run on AC, but you are very concerned, what is the actual uh, power consumption of your devices? Uh, you can use this uh, power monitor, uh, power monitor just to monitor your actual power consumption. All right, uh, you can get this uh, device, uh, the power uh, monitor at uh, Solar Power Mark. Okay, and uh, later on, I will show you a few more example. Uh, how can you use this uh, power monitor to measure uh, others' uh, uh, application? Yeah, all right. Let's say in your pantry you have a coffee machine, you have the hot water, you know things like that. Uh, your kettle, um, you want to figure out actually what is the power consumption, all right? So what you can do is you just need to you know, plug in the guy, okay? Okay. Wow, this guy is also running roughly about seven hundred, uh, seven hundred. 20 watts, yeah. So, in other words, when you start, you want to work, boil water. Uh, definitely, uh, you need to, you know, uh, consume a lot of power. All right. So, uh, 700 watts is required, probably to, you know, to to boil boil water. All right. Okay. Uh, we like to find out a small fridge like this. Uh, what is the uh, power consumption? Okay, let me zoom in, and here we go. All right, it's 122 watts uh, for this uh, small fridge. Um, It has been used 0 0.0191 kilowatt hour. Now it's 0 0.0192193. Wow. Uh, this fridge has been running for 10 minutes. All right. And 50 hertz. Uh, 243 uh, VSC. The current is 0 0.61 uh, v, uh, VA. Sorry. Uh, Current is 0 0.61 AC current. All right, power factor of 0 0.8 and 122 watt for this small fridge. And let me see. Now it is 0 0.024025 kilowatt hour. Wow, 0 0.02627. Okay. So I would like to say that is stress that is that a uh, small fridge like this. Um, you know, do consume quite a uh, power, all right? I always want to find out actually a uh, water dispenser like this with a hot and cold, uh, how much power consumption uh, is to run in something like this, okay? So I'm just gonna plug in this guy and figure out uh, what is the, uh, you know, uh, power consumption uh, of this uh, unit. I'll set it to what? All right. Uh, right now is in what? Okay. So I'm gonna plug this guy in.
Wow, this guy is consuming roughly about 718 watt. Well, a small guy like this is going to consume roughly about wow, 715 watt. Alright, so with the power uh, monitor, you can basically monitor all kind of uh, appliances in your house and figure out what is the uh, power consumption. Alright? Okay, uh, this last example we want to show you actually uh, using the uh, power cost monitor, you can use it to measure uh, the power that you generated uh, from your PV. Okay? Uh, what we have right now is actually is a transparent uh, solar panel and then connected to a small on-grid inverter. Okay, as you can see right now, the small on-grid inverter is generating a AC power, and then this AC power is actually is pumped inside to the uh, factory grips. Okay, in this, uh, I also connected the uh, power cost generator and to measure how much power actually generated uh, from the PV and then convert it to the you know, AC power and then pump inside to the factory grips all right? as you can see right now we have roughly about 0 0.0261 kilowatt hour uh, have already pumped inside to the uh, factory grip okay I think this thing has been running roughly about 46 uh, minutes but of course uh, we are actually using a very small uh, PV so that's why uh, we, uh, within 46 minutes it only generated uh, 0 0.0264 uh, kilowatt hour okay and uh, if you can see uh, the hertz of the grip itself is 50 hertz all right and the voltage is uh, VAC is 242 VAC, okay. And the current is 0 0.232 uh, uh, alternate current is already pumped right now, it's pumping inside uh, to the grip, okay. The power factor of one, all right. So, as you can see, this uh, power cost monitor uh, can be used both ways. One way is to use to measure the power consumption of your appliances, you know, things like that. And the other way, you actually can use uh, this to measure how much uh, power that you have generated. So, alright. So, as you can see, in the uh, solar industry or in the wind industry or in the renewable en uh, energy industry, uh, the power cost uh, monitor is a very important tool to have so that you can be better uh, to manage your power management or your power consumption all right with this information uh, you uh, can be better planned uh, for your system all right so 